The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, time. Yes, Purple Nation, yeah man, me there, yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to In The Meantime, yeah man, nothing can stop the Purple Army. <laughs> you can tell you that, but them have to try though, else how would I know, say, we're tougher than them. I tell you, remember you know, say, if it is to be trusted, it must be tested, yeah man, me I tell you, so it have to put to the test. Purple people know what truth is, and truth is not the one upon the surface, we dress like truth, walk like truth, look like truth, and act like truth, yeah man. We serve the one beyond the naked eye, yeah man, where no man can tamper with or turn in a lie. Alright, we're there now, we're there now, episode 35, yes man, entitled, It Takes Two, part 5. So alright, watch out now, before me get into the program, alright, I want to remember to like, share and subscribe. <laughs> me no know why me have to tell you no that, but them say me have to tell you no that, so me just tell you no that. <laughs> Yes, alright. As usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation. And Madvert Multimedia, if it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. This section is also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration. Them deal with all things immigration in a Canada. Just call Renaissance Immigration Services at 437-703-1147 to 8. The consultation is absolutely free. Who knows the dog pack up a Canada how long now? So I want to know enough how now we pan. Enough things what the item believe about immigration. Immigration won't have pack up in our head. I appeal lie in a rasta. Deceiving themselves, yeah, you're saying, my brother. Yeah, man, them imagination make them think migrating to Canada the hardest thing that the world fit do, Rasta. That's what he put them pack up a Uberman yard that wait for black monkey for fuck. And it, 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 it's simple. I'll just take up the phone and call Renaissance Immigration because what? Again, the consultation is totally free. Call them and make them give the ins and outs of immigration to Canada. There is nothing where them can make you understand me. I tell you that. And as usual, you don't know, say, if you're the America side and you want a service similar to this, no problem. Problem no unite. Lewis Law Professional Association. Dead them on for angle all issues of immigration in America. Them deal with things like visa, citizenship, removal of conditions, waivers, and all matters related to immigration in America. Me say that again, yeah man. Call now. 954-530-1717. And about that jump fence go in, man. Lewis Law of the immigration gate open wide. Yes, yes, alright, watch I know, I'm going to jump right in the letter of the day, yes man, the letter of the day is coming from someone who asked to be referred to as Shane St. John, alright, so Shane I say, Il Vice Box, I am almost embarrassed to write this, but I feel your take on it will be very valuable. I add what many would consider from the outside looking in as the perfect life. In the beginning of my marriage, my wife was one of the most loving people I knew. She was kind to total strangers, she had the sweetest person and I felt that in my old age that me and my sciatica would be safe with her. I spared no expense to make her happy. I went all in even though I was not a rich man but I was okay financially. In my mind we were a team in the same way you would often describe a team to be. I went above and beyond to build her up and even transitioned my job completely to online so I could keep our daughter and even took care of the house when the domestic helper wasn't there during the days while she went in and did more hours at her job. The long and short of the story is I found she was seeing someone else at her workplace. I was devastated but at the end of the day we had our data so I was willing to make it work. That's when everything changed. No matter what good I did she would nitpick and search out the smallest thing to be upset about. 
It's like I was her servant. She stopped communicating completely on occasion. Life with her was now a guess game. It appeared to me that her whole family, including her mother, knew something I didn't know. And when I pressed for answers, she tortured me with a silence that I am sure God did. Some great secret. I could sense the family no longer respected me. On occasions, my wife would give me a glimmer of hope by saying things like she missed me or showed some kind of concern about what I was going through. Oh, how I lived for those very short moments. Because I knew at a moment's notice that she would be off again acting like a total stranger whose home I invaded. She would do a lot of things I am objectively sure I was seeing. And whenever I spoke up about it, she just said it was all in my mind and that I needed help. She completely ignored my feelings about everything whenever these unresolved issues come out in anger and I get real dark about the issues she is ignoring. I suddenly become the monster who is described as the problem in the relationship. At this point, I'm emotionally drained and don't know what else to do. I would love to hear your take on this. Also, on the episode before the last one of In The Meantime, you said that cancer on every level is the same. You said one level is the physical and the other is the spiritual. You also said that cancer on any level is the result of an objective truth or process ignored. But I don't think I fully understood the analogy that explain how there can be a cancer on the spiritual level that follows the same rules or guidelines as the physical cancer. Could you please explain again? I am really trying to practice your teachings and so far I am in a way better place. Not fully there yet, I must admit, but I know I am on the right track, and I am a far different person from the fool I was before in the meantime. I feel I found true understanding in the middle of a storm. This program helps me to keep my sanity. Thank God for Zion. Sincerely, Shane. And the same thing you said to Shane, give thanks for Zion. Yeah man, I'm typing Zion at this point man, because me I tell you that. Bridge boy, I'm not no bridging. All a purple nation who appreciate in the meantime of a no say it's all due to a son who raised him father. If that make any sense. Anyway, alright, Shane, watch I know. Me I go answer you upon the, 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 the good girl gone bad part of your letter, but let me get into the last concern first because I think it gonna help you understand the first issue with, with the girl. Alright, so watch I know. So yes, cancer, yeah man. Every cancer is the result of a natural process or course of action. But we avoid or postpone because again, go with me back to what I always say and repeat constantly upon this program. Yeah. So everything is the same, but every level is just that how we train to interpret our see and view everything in a reality as an over simple, rigid, one way or another kind of thing. Me go can't see the spiritual reality or anything at all. So me go hold my belief, you know, say physical cancer and spiritual cancer are the same. It's just that 95% of the world have spiritual cancer and don't know because them train physical cancer as taking only one farm. Can you expound, my brother? I'm lost and I need some directions back to the relative safety of my ignorance. All right. The same way how people worry about becoming protein deficient. In other words, them a worry say boy, them a go short a protein. When them say the boy, them a go stop eating meat. You understand what I say? And the same way how people worry say them a go become happiness deficient or short of happiness then. If them stop believe the things where them believe, how them believe it. Like for example now, if them fi stop believe, say them fi have everything where everybody have and believe where everybody else believe. Them feel say them a go boring and irrelevant and go kill them so them no depend on that. So just like how the person you know we eat meat and don't want to give it up. Until for example now, them see a tumor we come, we come from the unnatural and unhealthy way where them eat. And the symptoms are sign of, of that physical cancer is weight loss without trying, fever, fatigue, etc. The same way the person who don't want to give up the way them think and, and, and where them believe because them feel like say boy, them are lonely and boring. I go also see a cancerous tumor. Only this time the tumor is in the form of an overgrown, out of control ego. We take them over and I kill them slow. And the symptoms of the spiritual cancer is spiritual immaturity. We come with a loss of touch with objective 
objective reality. This cancer, like any other cancer, eventually destroy you. When it go unnoticed or left and treated. Because just like how, when you don't eat natural, after a while your body become a different body will start fight against itself. And its original programming and end up destroy itself. And the same thing with the mind. Really? Yeah man! After having unnatural, over simple and unrealistic beliefs, the egocentric mind turn with mental space against itself and fight for prevent the re-emergence or me should have said then, the return of its natural state of consciousness. This malfunction is what create what we call me-ness. Which I believe is the same thing with doctor called narcissism where it's just one out. A name where them give the more advanced stage of meanness. We turn in a way me call spiritual cancer. You believe that? Yeah man! I don't believe that. I don't see. I don't see how. Where I say? Watch her. Alright. The word of the day is narcissist. Who is a narcissist? A person who them say suffer from narcissism, which is one of a disorder in which a person has a, have an inflated, or I should I say, an overgrown sense of self-importance. You understand? Often to the point of being delusional. Narcissism is a thing where first was identified as a mental disorder by the British essayist a phys, a, a physician, a brother with name Havelock Ellis in 1898. He diagnosed narcissism as being people with an inflated self-image. An addiction to fantasy. So many are unconscious narcissists, you say? Exactly, but to me, the supreme narcissist are the one you know we're bad up on sociopathy. Yeah, man, a sociopath is a term used to describe somebody where have antisocial personality disorder. I think what them call ASPD. They are them can research that for themselves. And don't think antisocial in this case means say. Eh, them just avoid people at all time in a bridging. It doesn't? No, man. Them can pretend to be social very well. If the show with them a put on a server anti-social agenda. For example, the only time them can bear the touch of being social or people friendly is when you have something with them want. Once them get it, them a total stranger. Yeah, man, a total stranger them ton. You can't believe see, at them same one. People with ASPD can't understand other people's feelings. Them often break rules or make impulsive decisions without feeling guilty for the harm of them cause for other people. Them have a hyper abusive personality type will make them more prone to being a calculated and deliberate narcissist. Just like how a person with a certain body type is more prone to weight gain. See the comparison there again to physical and spiritual. Consider the supreme narcissist as a victim of stage 3 spiritual cancer who is obsessed with maintaining the facade or appearance of having it all together. They are the weakest form of life whose only strength come from a deliberate exploitation and the taking for granted of others. Really? Yeah man! The stronger form of meanness are with Dr. Carl Narcissism is a serious demon will keep people stuck in a childlike state forever if them don't get help these people have a non-inclusive mindset to fuck up every relationship before them start because for example you know she and wife is possibly the average narcissist whose mental approach to marriage is one of he is my husband i am not his wife Almost in the same sense where you say That is my dog A thing I own and train That have no claim to me In other words I am not that dog's human We don't include our thing about the dog side of things Fun and joke as I do at, at so most people look for other people I don't believe that I don't I, I, I refuse to believe that And where I say Who right now and listen this We have a dog can tell me say them Ever stop to think about them dog feelings As a matter of fact Dog ever tell you say I saw them name? A we call them so. Them not have no say in it. Dog would all try to tell you long. Say a something else them name. And them not like it. But we too busy a sell them puppy. Or I give them with a good name for notice it. And when them bite we know. Them become the worst thing in, a, in a the world. Yeah man we start kick them up. And call them wicked and grateful after we good enough to have them. And we get a bark around we kill them. Again bridging. As some most human treat other human. Some just sick with a the mentality them more than some. And just get a different name. You really think so? My Brother? Yeah man, because of what we believe poor and successful be. Whole heap of people have narcissistic tendencies in a relationship. So what you say you know notice say if one person in a most relationship forever mature, them automatically become owned by the next one who interpret this maturity as weakness. Well she and my brethren, don't too surprise if one day she call you. I only hear
Because the truth is, you are your wife, dog, at least in a fair head. So you believe that? Yeah, man! How much time for one program me have to tell you, say? With subconscious beliefs, program we to seek ownership and not partnership. No matter what we consciously believe, so we want. Bridget, think of the word, my, and the story we tell. Because every word where you, where you, where you speak conjure up or bring up a specific image. And a story will go with it And words like My Say ownership So when you say it Your mind automatically program you To follow the directives of the meaning of the word Without even notice it Boy purple people Boy I tell you I have to go find an inclusive word We, we, we can change the narrative they bridge I tell you So why don't people just leave If they're encountering the, this kind of abuse my brother Not, not that simple bridge I tell you that It's not that simple what in human psychology is the favorite tool of the narcissist? What's that? And what's that? It's that thing with them called gaslighting. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse. Where you find in a most abusive relationship. It is the act of manipulating a person by forcing them to question them own thoughts and memories. And events will happen around them. A victim of gaslighting, you know, yeah, can be pushed so far. Them question them own sanity. Some even commit suicide. And I take my word for it, you know. Yeah man, this is science. You can go do your own research. Really? Yeah man! The supreme narcissist work like you see Shane. Wife I work in a Shane case, you know. She just kill him with love and big up. And then all of a sudden she, she withdraw the love and distance herself and get silent. And start treating like shit. So him now feel say he must do, he, he must go, he, he must do something wrong. You understand? And him start fight back for the love. When him think him can get back if him just fix whatever problem and earn back her affection. But she refuse to say what the problem is. Is. And him know directly say her behavior must have caused her for something where she a think about him and she touch him by not talking to him about it. For him can get the ad for him side. Now the misery where am I gonna live in her because of that? I go naturally now cause him to behave certain way and go on bad because we have to understand you know humans have a need for two things with them flawed we have interpreting reality destroy and that is the need to be needed and the need to have closure and make sense of everything so in a shame case I know after the issue now nah resolve and the guest game and mad him when him explode now you know what happened mm -hmm. you know what she will say to him what's that she go say you swear me a talk about you see, say you're crazy. In other words, you see why me did that for fuck by you. Me is not a bad person. And you are the problem. I mean, I can show you the same thing on a group or collective level, you know. In other words, a whole system will gaslight a whole race of people by avoiding our own, you know. To where them do them to this day and do everything for convince we say the deliberate systematic oppression of black people isn't there and that all the fuckery where they where, where them put with you never happen and that it's all in our mind. So you're trying to say that there is um, some systematic narcissism. But we are saying, we are like, I don't see how this analogy makes well, sense. Man, well, 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 all right. Picture the American corporate power structure as the supreme narcissist and black people as the victim of this narcissist. Now consider the media where them control as the mouth of the narcissist. You know, see them ignore everything good what we do and provoke way to angry and start match up everything. And then them use them mouth, say, see why me have to treat them so? You see how oh, them terrible? I still don't see the, uh, the analogy. I don't get it. I don't see. The same energy for every level bridging. A group or a collective are just a really, it's just really a larger individual. Suppose one of your fans wants to know what you mean by that. What time um, would you say, my brother? Remember, people make system. I'm going to tell you how the average person set up many Mentally. Therefore, they might go put them beliefs in the systems where them create. You see, like how oh, one single person or individual have feelings, we show you them ways. Consider the different people who make up a group as feelings, we determine the ways of the group. Now consider the American corporate slave making system. Are she and why who have more bad ways within than you can imagine. Yeah, the bad ways overpower and outdo the good. Now picture the black community as the individual victim of the narcissist. I could call him. We could call it we could call it black community. She and you know then who have great Ways and I try work with this narcissist, you know. But the narcissist ignore them good ways. Which are many, many people in a black community who are willing to do the right things for coexist with this narcissist and make the relationship work. But the narcissist ignore them, no matter what the good them are trying to do. Now consider she in bad ways as the fuck up set of black people will come out when them fed up. 
And mash up everything and not give a fuck about no cars. Because them need attention. And this you know, you see the narcissists use them mouth, aka the media. And I say what? You see why we don't like these people? We are so good and humble and we offer them everything and they are just ignorant and dark. It's over to you, Bob. And this kind of treatment, you know, keep we living in this constant state of anxiety will give you this need to make it right which in turn keep you under them control pimps and wars bridge you know much time you have to tell you so it's basically systematic gaslighting um you're saying my brother yeah man why you think it is over the centuries them doing some of the wickedest things and regardless of the evidence they might tell you otherwise i say it's all in our mind and sometimes we even end up a question where we are saying all right i want my news you know where we are saying what go on now the same thing we are got you right now with this nigger thing here yeah, will make absolutely no sense if it can't stop you from get the disease or stop you from give it. And yet them are go against common sense and I tell you that this is the logical thing for do when the objective evidence say otherwise. I mean no say a whole heap of sensible people end up a second guess themselves. I have to agree with you dear. That's so true. My brother? Yeah man, not the same gaslight in psychology. They are the art of this virus thing a rasta way. Boy, one of them things they right now will make whole heap of people sensible. End up a question them own objective and truthful judgment. And I wonder if I'm mad them are mad. Because even when people see the obvious and clear truth, the system I tell them say, I know that they must see. Alright, I'm going to get into it, deeper into it after the break. Yeah man, I tell you about some serious thing I go on. I see rough times ahead, my brother. Yeah man, rough, 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 rough. No dog, no life, we're not saying. No dog, no life, we're not saying. In the meantime. Truth and reality and a dream time. Curly locks. In the meantime. Listen, a theme time. No longer tell them, say a rats are on the world, a curly locks are on the world. Shit's the king of the purple new show. When we say purple, we mean that. Alright, yeah man, yeah man, alright. My advice, you know, to the man, them, especially the youth, them, we are come up, you know, is to always set boundaries in all relationships from early, yeah man. If you, if you ask a girl, for example, if she know the meaning of a word, where you're using a the sentence where she has shake her head in agreement to. And your reason for ask her I just for make sure say you and her up on the same page so you don't misunderstand one another. And that Often her, be careful. If you ask her for explain in detail something where she claim for understand and that request also often her. Prepare for juggle for her. If you start notice say she need company to enjoy yours. Or if you even have to take some steroids, Bridget, me I tell them, I don't know what you do, but, but run. But I see a generation of purple people who have the spiritual acuity to balance them emotions and take control of them destiny. No sex on the planet. It's not worth the pain what we go through, especially when we choose and breed or breed for somebody who don't have the spiritual maturity. If we choose we, and we stuck a fight for who not fight for we, all because we want company. You don't know my, my view upon this whole thing already, you know, separation is the cure for stupidity. And everybody where you want to stay with, want to stay with you. It take two for make every relationship and every level work. You can't beg people for change. You have to change and inspire change in a them if them are going to change. The courage for be relevant start with seclusion. It is the willingness to face this part of your consciousness where you socialize for run from all of your life. You gotta find out say when you embrace the part of your consciousness and when you truly find your life. You have to allow yourself to be by yourself in order to find the self that you was meant to be. You can't do that. While in at the loud and overpowering noise of spiritual immaturity and the endless competition will make you feel like well, you can't left because you're gonna be relevant and forgotten. This irrelevance where you feel like your friend is not your enemy. You have to drop out of the rat race in order to qualify for the human race. So this song you know is not by any stretch of the imagination a new song, you know. But it's one where fit the advice. When me go, when me again, not only Shane, but people in general, we are suffer at the hands of a narcissist. Here goes. Elite generation. Oh. You're now tuned in the Curly Locks of Icebox. And in the meantime. When nobody know that for time to Rather they burn a hill 
hillside Than them own people where we hurt you Red out upon a hillside Inside I feel vibes and know some a heart clean inside Red up on a hillside Where nobody know the foot turn to Red out upon a hillside Inside with no friends nigga Rather run from why lockdown friend killer Rather sleep in a tree where picture we put them nests in a Than fish a vehicle and fence nigga Rather sleep up a blue mountain peak Than be a big ball and sit down from bench in ya yeah, man, if you know, say this is Leela I can't write and now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the boys. Box, check it. Than them own people where we hurt you Red out upon a hillside Inside I feel vibes and know some a heart clean inside Red up on a hillside Where nobody know the foot turn to Red out upon a hillside Hillside with no friends nigga Red out run from why lockdown friend killer Rather sleep in a tree where picture we put them nests in a Than fish a vehicle and fence nigga Rather sleep up a blue mountain peak Than be a big ball and sit down from bench in ya Me no G sad so when them want test me for Draw them one for draw the kill out when we'll see a Rather pencil Rather them on a hillside where nobody know them for time to Rather them on a hillside than them on people where we hurt you Inside I feel vibes and know some are hot clean inside Right up on a hillside Where nobody know the foot turn to Right up there on a hillside Cause the energy them push bad Right up be round some cricket and bullfrog Talk to mosquito for just relaxing up when me ignorant, me go kill from Not like Barrett if me see one, me go steal man A beast bitch for me and say still chat Crocodile smile and say my team's mad A way you know about this Rather they pan a hillside Where nobody know the foot turn to Rather they pan a hillside Than the road people where we at you Rather they pan a hillside Inside a feel vibes and know some a heart clean inside Right up on a hillside Right up on a hillside Yo Chester Yes, 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 yes. Chronic Law, Hillside. Yeah, man. One of my favorite anthem. If you can't steal Rasta, I tell you that. Available no one all. Yes, reputable online platforms. Yeah, man. Support good music. I'm speaking of platforms. Yeah, man. Get the book where you can help the item develop the mind. Yes, the kind of mind where you process the information. Found in all books. Yes, man, properly, Rasta, because a lot of people are getting information about the mind where they might use process and interpret the information is flawed. So no matter which book them read, they may not back a square one. The information can't help them because the problem in you know, their mind. Yes, the book is Planet Earth. My book, Planet Earth, get it on Amazon.com and Planet Earth Book.com in all farms. And the item can get. The audio version, yeah man, for Audible and iTunes and just about anyway, audio book. Sell, yeah man, so It is also available locally at J.A. Deals, Constant Spring Road Right across from the transport center there, so yeah man In a plaza where mother's there, yes And me I said, check out them website, you know, yeah JADeals.com, yeah man For all of them other locations where them have it And much more things, yeah, so 
Also, J.A. Deal, ship internationally to the Caribbean, etc. So, yeah, man. And Planet Earth is also located at selected locations of, of, of Kingston Bookshop. Yes, and Sangstad's Bookstore. Yes, and Tash Chemicals in a Westmoreland. Yes, so call 876-354-7543. Yeah, man. And talking about book, you know, you can look out for the release. And my first book. Which was the road, uh, which is then the road to Zion. And of course, it's the revised version. Yeah, man, you know, can look out for that in a few weeks. So, I'm going to also start a book club for Caribbean authors. Yeah, man, who can have them work, get yeah, them book. Showcase directly to them own community. In the meantime. In, in the meantime, and in between time, what is coming is coming. This next section of the program is brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Them deal directly with all things related to immigration at Canada. Yes, man. Them can fix the visa where you overstay because you're frightened and run off. I know people take advantage of you in every way. Shape and farm. I have to work for less than where you work and you feel there is no way out. Renaissance believes as long as there was a way in, there is always some way out. Yeah, man, just call them at 437-703-1147 to eat. Consultation is absolutely free. In the meantime. In, in the meantime and between time, what is coming is coming. What a virologist on television, TV6 News, last night mentioned this. And uh, called Viral Immune Escape. And in a nutshell, viral immune escape is this. When you put a virus under pressure through a mass vaccination program, the, vac the vaccine-induced antibodies will stand up against the COVID-19 virus. And, and fight it. And so the virus is on the run. Once a virus gets on the run, remember this virus is a, is a virus that is specially, uh, it has gain of function properties. Yes. You put it under pressure, it changes, right. it shifts, it changes its cloak, it looks different. Wow. Amen. It becomes a variant. Wow. And, and the variant cannot be stopped by the vaccine induced antibodies. Vaccine induced antibodies also shut down your innate immune system. Mm. So the vaccinated have vaccine induced antibodies that cannot stop a variant, and then it's all, they also shut down your innate immune system. So variants can come straight through and infect those who are vaccinated. That is viral immune escape. And that says that the vaccinated are defenseless against variants. Jesus. This is no longer a pandemic of COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2. This is a pandemic of variants. Amen. And there is something called recombination. Listen to me carefully. Why aren't our virologists telling us this? Amen. Uh, recombination means that a vaccinated host can be infected by more than one variant at one time. Oh, big deal. Delta variant is in Trinidad. You heard that? Amen. Well, uh, Dr. Peter McCullough says... Uh, they don't have enough letters in the Greek alphabet to name the variants. Amen. In fact, there are over 100 variants already floating around ov all over the globe. Some, some put it as 185. If a vaccinated host is infected, uh, co-infected by more than one variant, the variants, when they get inside, they have a little party and they mix and they change DNA and they, they camouflage and they, 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 they mix their DNA, the recombinant DNA technology takes place and it produces a super variant. Yeah. Amen. And if super variants are produced, nothing can stop them. And already they are saying that the, I think the latest variant to come out is, is, is vaccine resistant. Well, this is just the beginning. Dr. Su uh, Dr. Gert van den Bosch warns, he said, if we do not immediately stop mass vaccination campaigns all around the world, the world will experience an international catastrophe of mass mortality. I didn't say that. He did. The vaccinated are a threat to us all. However, amen, we must, we, we must treat the vaccinated kindly, Absolutely. amen, with, with, with great empathy, amen, with prayer, amen, and, 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 and with humanity and love, amen. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. Amen. So, so, no discrimination against the vaccinated. Boy, it's rough, anyone, I tell you. Boy. When you hear it for yourself, I want to tell you, you know, say, many people hear and even research the claims made in this video. Well, audio in this case, I know, audio version of the same video. And many similar information related to what I call this niggle thing a Rasta. Many people who me personally know confirm the truth for themselves on a daily basis and still don't want to see it. So watch I know. If you doubt when me just play, you understand? All right, I'm going to play. Anthony Fauci himself, Rasta, 
This audio is taken from a video, yeah man, where Fauci, yeah man, do from PBS, which is an official news source. So, Anthony Fauci, for, for those who don't know, is an American physician slash scientist and immunologist who serves as director of, of, of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and the chief medical advisor to the president. You hear that? All right. So, in one of the main fixtures in one of, in, a, in a this thing, you know. So, here goes. Just Fauci, one, the one the time. CDC is saying that this is based on new science, new data, uh, showing that even those who are vaccinated can carry the virus with them. They can be contagious. This seems to contradict what we've been told, that once you get vaccinated, you're protected. Well, in, in some respects, yes, but what's changed, Judy, is the virus has changed. So when you have vaccinated people who might have a breakthrough infection, and we know now as a fact, as a scientific fact, that they can transmit the virus to an uninfected person, it's for that reason that the CDC made the change in recommendation and did just as you correctly stated, namely that if you are vaccinated, if you are in an indoor setting, you should still wear a mask. I hear you saying it is based on science, but to many Americans who are by now pandemic weary, um, do you understand why they may be looking at this? And we're hearing this from some uh, from a number of Americans saying, well, why did why did the CDC uh, change the guidelines two months ago? Were they did they jump the gun when they did that? Or they're asking, you know, why weren't they more transparent? In the beginning, people are asking these kinds of questions. Those are reasonable questions, Judy. But I think what we all need to realizing, we are dealing with an evasive type of a virus. It it evolves, so that people need to understand. It, it, it's a it's a painful realization, but it's true. But it's true. But it's. True. I fought you that. We don't just hear it for yourself. We don't hear what say. It is no, and I quote, a scientific fact that a person who take them joke can infect other people. I remember this thing here yeah, is a thing we're still in that experimental phase according to the CDC. This a worldwide news and yet up to now them don't call off this mass vax programs all over the world. The same government you know, you know where we have where love call people ignorant and conspiracy theorists. We don't follow science. That's what them call we you know. Them say, well, yeah, them not follow science. Ironically, them is now the one not following the same science where them love quote when it convenient to them agenda. Instead of call it off, you have business leaders and governments all over the world who are pushed for make an experiment where the outcome is uncertain. Mandatory. In other words, them why you have to do it whether you like it or not. That's a bold faced lie. Hold on, hold on. Away. People have a choice as to whether they take, take um, they, they take this, um, they take this thing or not, my brother. That's an unfair statement. You now learn nothing at all, Bridget, me I tell you. It means doing the same things differently. How much time you have to say that? Yes, they might say, you have a choice. It's your choice. But after them say that, them just rally back with, I'm sorry, Bob, you can't come to school or go to work unless you take this thing, yeah? Whether the same fucking thing as saying it mandatory. Because we can't live without them work or them school. Which, which, which society can function without them two things there? If you don't work or you go to school. And if you don't go to school or you qualify for work. This thing you have more do nots than do's bridging. And people are wonder why anybody with more than three brain cells would have refused to take it. When even the people them we are pushing it and run from it. You have proof of such nonsense? Oh, yeah. How you know they oh, run yeah, from say. it? Oh, you mean if... Hey, all right. Listen, listen to this. This are the CEO of Pfizer, Alberta Borella himself, Bridgen. When them ask him, oh, him no get it yet. Well, and a question for you. I've heard you have not yet had uh, your shot. When do you plan to get it? The sooner <laughs> I can, I will. The only sensitivity here, uh, Meg, is that uh, I don't want to, uh, to, the, to have an example that I'm uh, cutting the line. That uh, I am uh, uh, 59 years old, in good health, I'm not working in the front line, so it, uh, my type is not recommended to get vaccination. To get vaccination. To get vaccination. 
You know, you heard for yourself, and if you, if you don't still not satisfied with that one day, listen to that one here with Andrew Olness, our Jamaican Prime Minister. When them ask him if all and cabinet members and executives get this thing here. I can't tell you if every minister is vaccinated. What I can say is that we made provision for all ministers to be vaccinated. And my, my last report is that um, all of them took advantage of it. But, but I couldn't say, I'm not saying definitively that they did. But that was my last unofficial report. For members of parliament um, and senators, again, provisions were made for all members of parliament and senators to be vaccinated. I cannot say definitively, and I did not receive a report. Now that you have asked, I will ask for, for a report. But remember now, vaccination is a private matter for you know, um, so, so though, in other words, I should not go and look at anybody's vaccination record as it is stored. But I could ask for ministers coming into cabinet, show me your vaccination card. In other words, you know, you, you can ask for it, but it shouldn't be that anyone else other than a health professional would be able to have access to the entirety of any group's vaccination record. But I will, I will ask whether or not all members are, of parliament are vaccinated and make a general encouragement for those who are not vaccinated. Uh, I would be surprised, however, if, if, if um, there is any large number of MPs who have not been vaccinated. Uh, there might be one or two. Uh, there might be one or two. Uh, there might be one or two. I don't know why. When me I listen to this thing here, why I go your album could I hear in my head is advice where I say. When the people of Jamaica were asked if they were satisfied with the answers that the Prime Minister gave regarding the question of whether or not he knew if all his cabinet members received their injection, they said yes. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Brethren, it half be out to say something wrong with this thing. It is so true. When people out there right now, we, we can't help but look on it like buying a condom. We can't protect from a STD. But it's been told that them shouldn't get this condom and use it anyway. My wife and children uh, got the shot. You're being ridiculous. It more than evidence that different people body react to this thing are different. So it all become a game of Russian roulette where you put a one bullet in the barrel of a, of a gun and spin the barrel and put the gun at your head and squeeze the trigger and open no fire. At this so-called civilized and intelligent people are doing it. At a game that they play all because them no one look like fool to nobody. All right, we have a Christian bridging, you know, who uncle take him needle. And him say him tell him uncle say boy yeah before him tell an eagle there you know him need for listening in the meantime and learn how to look deeper into the details of things. And uncle said, boy, oh, him no need. Him no, no need that at all, man. All him need is Jesus. But him never hear Jesus in him common sense. I say, be careful. Something wrong here, sir. Him, like the majority, man, just hang up the phone for objective truth, a.k.a. common sense, a.k.a. Jesus consciousness. We always I try to guide them. And him go answer the call from the devil, a.k.a. excess ego. We tell them, say, right now, oh, them need to be as smart and intelligent as the civilized people who are taking this thing a raster. A rascal, no. The man I tell me, say, him uncle, I tell him, say, when him ejaculate or come then, for want of better sexual word. A source of water come out, I'm who dead. What you saying? Water? As in water, my brother? Yeah, man. Water with woe. Nothing sticky and white. We contain several billion children that compete for a chance for coming at the world, come careless, brainwash, and dead in them ignorance like the majority. And right now it reach a level where the uncle can't walk, cripple, and the man still do want to face it. And as a car licked down him granny one time and she did cripple, so cripple running at the family. Boy, boy, rough! I mean, I don't know. Hey! Why you like how you have all Eddie can them thing the rasta? You must have a thing them stupid ache. Because nobody can stupid so and it not hurt them. It must be in them rasta. Denial itself a most stupid ache. I tell you that. So my brother, how about those who say that vaccine has been going on for ages and um is a is a good thing? 
So regardless of what you're saying, that they believe in it, my brother. No, not all, not that simple. Guns have been around protecting people for ages too. But put the same guns in at the wrong hand, I see what. What's your point? It's not that gun itself is bad, is the intention of the shooter. And the same for the needle or anything at all where you can think about we're falling at the wrong hand. The biggest problem you yes, saw is psychological programming. Not no, that simple. Why can't people just see and yeah, wake up and yeah, just realize and just walk in a different way. And so it works. There is many overlooked psychological elements to every situation where we think just simple so. Regardless of what you say, I believe people have their own minds and governments are just simply representing people's interests. That, that's my view and I'm, I'm standing by it. Brethren, your own mind is a myth. Really? Yes, man, I tell you that. As long as we stay stuck in the rule, we tie away to the script. With them use control with actions from birth. I refuse to believe this government. What I say? What I say? What I say? say? Nonsense. I, I just refuse. I refuse. By now, you must know. So, you know, make blanket statement. You know, brethren. Because I believe so many government believe wholeheartedly. Say so them have the people's best interest at heart. And that many of them have the purest intention. Cause you have a member now, you know. Them is people. Yeah, man. These leaders are people whose majority are just as spiritually immature as the average person. Matters not them class, race, or creed. And all spiritually immature have the same beliefs. So make them approach and do the same things differently. It is not them conscious intentions are the problem. It's the beliefs to write them subconscious programming. That's ridiculous. Nonsense. Well, I'm a man. Nonsense. Well, I'm a Therefore, control them action. Both the leader and the followers are work off a different version of the same script where them ego write and give them the rules and guidelines to success at anything. It have the followers that try to become the leader to get the success. And it have the leaders that manipulate the followers for the very same reason. And again, twin reality is what keep them in a power. Because most of we can't bother do the work where it going to take for dig deep. So we stay with the over simple one track thinking we complicate everything. Is this laziness and can't bother attitude you know? We just make we sit back and hope say one out them leader you gotta do the right thing. And tell me if not the same thing happen when the boy funny and she just love him off and just a fuck so. Oh right dear, yes, 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 your body big and sweet, you boy. And she never stop to read the truth between the lines or tell itself without words about this boy. Yeah. What truth is that? The truth will come out in her actions. She just choose to entertain her with the jokes and fun over what is seen as the hard and tedious work of knowing the difference between the twins named subjective and objective truth. So she will on upon the subjective surface truth where it seem easier to manage or control. But that truth is the illusion of a devil named excess ego. And she ignore the objective truth which is the eternal God in our consciousness. We can't be a lie. You think it's anything different happen in this clip, you know, when we go play? For bring home the point. All right, I'm not saying nothing more. All right, I'm going play this. Hey, I'm not a hype person. Yeah. Um, so you're not going to see no holy for hype. Yeah. What I do is I pay attention to the things that matter to you. So you know. You know. Now, everybody have it in their mind that something is going to happen. You feel it? Yes! Everybody where I go. People want to know when is it going to happen. It's as if people are saying, what are you waiting on? Do you think now? As I said, you know, let me look carefully because there's a lot of things happening. We don't want the economy to fall, so we still have COVID to deal with. But as I was getting dressed this morning, I look on my shoes rack and I see my desert clothes. Sad Rasta, I tell you a sad reality. You think Andrew had the problem, yeah, so? 
of the people themselves when anybody want anything at all from somebody them communicate with them in the language where them understand and unfortunately for the average jamaican that language is ignorance them just want to be entertained the running of a country is that is just an idea to them not a process them not have to understand nothing about elected officials as long as them down to earth and i don't blame the politician because the politics game is no different from the look pussy game. How so? Because there is no man upon the face of the earth who can tell you, say, the first time him see him wife, him, they just know, say, I'm going to marry her. Every last one of them was going to be just a fuck. And then we just avoid them till them give up and call in we. It's the kind of woman we train this gal is here. For no, say, I know, so it gone. Every woman I idiot. And make him see, say, she have her head upon her body. Back in that time, a them used to end up with the ring. Unfortunately, if you're gonna use the analogy there for Jamaicans, them is just a fuck for these many politicians over the years from both sides. So stop the ball in when politicians use clocks and, and dance all dub plate. Forget what them want. This is a strategy where both sides of government use from poor people for years, Rasta. You think it's different from the boy where funny and fuck the girl? Who too lazy to stop and make sure say she understand the process. We are going to ensure say this man here do the right thing. But instead she leave it up to him alone for have fear best interest at heart. You think this whole lockdown situation here where we are looking at now is different. From the girl choosing to be entertained by the boy. And prefer him for funny. More than spiritually educated. You think it different from a bunch of people a fight for go party. But would I never fight for go school? No! Same approach to anything for any level. Same outcome for every level. What a leader or a spouse become in our life, whether good or bad, is dependent and how willing we are to do the work we take for hold them accountable. I wish I could have choose like many to make the majority feel like them innocent and that them is just a victim of some tyrant leaders who have different motivation for success from them. But don't those tyrants exist though, my brother? Yes, but if we are never fool, then the fool couldn't fool we are fuck with or even lead with. It takes two brethren. See it there again. Nobody can do your part of the work for you. The problem is work. Do the work or do your slavery quietly. Stop lick out pan things wait up to you for change. As long as we can rise above the egocentric idea of self. Where we are will learn to from birth. We will never be free. I still don't believe governments are bad. I just can't see it. If even the word government itself tell you when me I try to tell you straight and plain. Say them I try to control your mind for the purpose of them own success. You don't believe it? Them time there? That would be interesting. And how would you do that? Oh, you mean the word government tell you? Say them govern your ment, which I believe is short for the word mental. So the word itself I tell you, say them govern and dictate how you think and therefore. Let me repeat. Our own mind is an illusion. It's a basic script with an oversimple idea of reality. Where the ego right. How we are used for our ban. In our ignorance. So the excess ego or the devil then. A play upon both the side of the victim and the perpetrator. So again bridging. The average person is a subconscious unaware narcissist. It's just that in a many conflict you find a deliberate narcissist exploit the unaware narcissist by governing them what meant tall space. But both kind of narcissists motivated by the same idea of success, which them don't know is the biggest failure. It's rough. I don't believe the average person is in any way, shape or form a narcissist. I don't. I don't see it. I believe. Uh, well, uh, hold on, hold well, on, hold on. Uh, wait, well, uh, I believe that um, narcissism is just a mental sickness reserved for a particular personality type. That's my belief, and I'm sticking by it. Fair enough. But who again is a narcissist? Not the person who is overly self-centered and unconcerned about the feelings of others when it comes to them own interests. That sounds about fair. So why would I call the average woman right No, we wouldn't think twice for live or cheat upon a man who do the world for them for your next man 
who them think would have do more? Where you would have called the African leaders who have them own people a slave in a diamond cap and uranium mines and a sell out them country resources? To foreign interests just to service their own interests. So narcissists on um, different levels, you say? Yeah, man, the same narcissistic idea of success motivate and influence both the victim and the perpetrator. I tell you that. Check out how both so-called first world Western government work. You understand? You know, you may use this analogy all the while now. When I say them coming like a parent or in this case a mother then. We have a thing in a psychology. You have a psychological condition with them called the Oedipus complex. Now she have many children in a way she describe as third world, yeah man, in a Africa all about. But we are talking now about our daughter, or in this case, Jamaica, who look up to that parent, that mother. <laughs> you understand? Who she don't know says the type of parent. We get them power from making sure so them children powerless. And because of how she program for see the word parent and what she expect them to be now. She don't know how to say mommy and make sure so she can't do nothing for herself. And therefore depend upon her for do everything for her. Now the daughter I'd have a boyfriend one time when he, when he manly. Who did show her how to be self-reliant and depend upon her own crops. And them things they had to eat. Mommy dear is never like him because he's a threaten to make sure you have sense. And that threaten fear control over Jamaica if Jamaica is to become self-reliant. So mommy just use her money you now and back the next brother who did a look Jamaica who she did prefer as a son-in-law because what? She did have control over him. So she helped him mash up her daughter relationship with the help of her CIA security guards in a 1980 election where she killed much thousand people just for no make her daughter listen to that one person. So the nigga brother now take her away from Manly and she cry freedom! Yeah man! I'd best hard this broke out and I said hot girl no plant up ground and them thing them man hot girl no do them sitting there and look at her now 50 odd year later and still a depend upon mommy and can't function or do nothing at all upon her own and Jamaica mistake mommy's desire for control as love them conflate that with love really how so because mommy is always dear for her man always willing to bail her out give her alone help her out man so yes mommy is our hero so everything when mommy say man she do anything at all to impress mommy and she think mommy is our savior when he's our abuser and when you hear them say the abused always become the abuser is that a joke thing then we abuse or destroy them own self just to get back a sense of worth in the eyes of them abuser. How so though, my brother? Why you consider the country's head, or should I say brain then, as the, as the leader? <laughs> yes, the leadership on both sides. As the same abused daughter. I use the same style of abuse when mommy did use upon she, upon her own self. I mean, why you consider her own self, her body then, as the people? Her own people? Yeah, her own people. Just to regain some semblance of self-respect and self-control in order to finally gain the respect of her mother who spoil her and make sure, say, she need to depend upon her forever. And she don't know, say, mommy will never be pleased. So the abuse never will ever stop. So come the country end up like a girl we go man we, we go man yard and no have no get big money for go home. So she have to suck out and go out with a bag of things, yeah man, sexual acrobatics. Him set her all type of way in a every position, backers, lizard lap, sideways, CEO, supervisor, manager, every position. And put with all boat pan her. Because she not independent. So she don't have a choice. Just like with this niggle thing you know, the leaders now have no choice. Because we do have a self-sufficient structure set up where we can depend on ourselves. If mommy cut we off. And, and a quick disclaimer. This is not me endorsing any particular political party. Because there has been, and you still have, people with the greatest of intentions from both sides. However, despite the greatest of intentions, we present predicament, or I should I say trouble, is coming from foolish choices made consistently over time. So Andrew leadership is not the cakewalk when most people st most people imagine. Because him inherit the repercussions are the result then of those choices made for him 
before him even born. So most of the leaders over the years are coming to leadership with this. Wagan by the morning can't come good at evening type of mentality. Most of them give up and just rob and go on because it look hopeless to fix this thing here. When the deliberate ignorance with them put in at the people to keep them powerless in order to make themselves powerful. Turn against them in a situation like this especially. A sad reality. Pimps and wars bridging. Me not tell you all it, but I tell you it rough. I hear you, but uh, how do they pull that off on their own people though? My brother, that's what I want to know. What you mean? No see them like how mommy do it to them. Them promote beliefs. We keep the people away from self-reliance and self-responsibility. And make the masses totally rely upon them for solve all of the non-existent problems where them get them for beliefs that them have. Why would they do that though, my brother? Because that's how the hierarchical system of survival design it based upon competition and not cooperation. Like I believe objective nature intended. So this ego-based structure, the humans are subconscious, manifesto for survival, or we should say rule book. We turn one against the other in pursuit of success. So you find upon every level of life, this idea of success make one human set out to enslave the other in order to be successful. The governing of people make out of the same mole bridging. Where they make rules we keep the masses away from what the real world is, Rasta. And by not experiencing anything for themselves, all them have is an overactive imagination will drive them crazy. Because them don't have any practical experience with reality. In order to have a frame of reference when it comes to where them hear about. So to them, things always worse than them actually is. Because them never experience the thing and can actually imagine it. So them create them own version of what that thing is with them imagination and them don't know. And usually because of fear, what them create is much, much more worse than what it actually is. So them run to mommy or daddy, aka government, for deal with every imagined crisis for them. So them end up with a, if mommy or daddy says it's true, then it's true type of mentality. At the same method the church used for centuries, you know. By making them free of a version of hell. When them don't realize that the very same pastor who had preached this version of hell, yeah, never go at that hell himself. And we don't allow ourselves to even think about that. Because we don't have to think about it if nobody else not think about it or question it. That attitude sound familiar. No, the same provox mentality that. You think it is? Yeah, man, the same energy are manifesting a different way. Just like literal parents telling a child, no ties or games until you do your homework. And the child don't necessarily understand why they have to do it, but just comply or work with it for the sake of getting back. Them entertainment. Are them afraid of the beating where them all get? I eat you see a go on, you know, with this withholding of, of, of a social life until we do it, them say. The governing of our ment is why most people stuck in a spiritual catatonic state of infancy and them excess pride in a false identity is why them can't see it. But to be fair, it, 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 in parenting though, my brother, I'm, uh, in parenting children, withholding things uh, they love, etc. is a very effective measure in ensuring um, children grow into responsible adults that are useful to society my brother that's how i see it yes man me agree with you you're right but not all the time because remember again you know i believe all things serve a vital purpose it's just that the things used wrongfully turn into the worst things there is many good outcomes when, when when parents tell them kids say hey, the monster under the bed is going to bite off your little your little balls if you don't brush your teeth, we see where it help a whole heap of picnic avoid a life of cavities and stinking mouth on the first date. But not every parent have the same intentions. Now think again, parental governments with the Oedipus complex, who often use the same strategy with fuck up intentions, like what they might do in the West, you know, with this needle thing here. We them a scare way into the injection line by withholding with drugs, which is with social life. You know, see that? But the need to socialize is a natural thing though, my brother. In, in humans, my brother, it's a natural thing, my brother. Yeah, man. But you know, see, people are either not duck 
when police are passed. This is not just a need for social lies again. It is an addiction. No crackhead alone moves so. up. If it's just a natural need for social lies, then what happen? People don't live at them yard. Who them can more than do that with? But the people at them yard know them false and fuck up ways. So them have to out to try to be the center of all that is perfect in the eyes of others. You really believe that you, you think so, my brother? Yeah, man, it is the need to be approved by others. As so we socialize with no important or even exist to us. If people no say it and give it permission to exist. What I believe we are witnessing are people you know, finding it difficult to stay home. It's a mass withdrawal. Yeah, man, withdrawal is a thing with addicts experience in a rehab when you withhold them drugs. You believe that? Yeah, man. The more they make us feel so we are going to lose the slavery where we think of freedom, and the more desperate we will get and give in. So the weaker people who are more addicted have a turn against the one them who them feel I prevent them from get back to the make-believe Dolly house, lie where them are live and think of them life. But why do people knowingly see the obvious and is still willing to go with the lie, with what you call the lie, my brother? They must actually believe uh, that what they are saying for some reason is true. I don't understand why you don't understand them not understanding what you're saying that they don't understand. It's two kind of fear and one powerful source where these two kind of fear come from. Make the victim stay in a, in, in, in a the narcissist trap for every level of that type of relationship. One fear is the fear of making an unpopular choice and the other fear is again the work we come with making that choice. And the source or place where that come from is the excess ego. Because remember, we condition our train to make uniformed, ideological choices. Meaning, say, all our way have to believe and think the same way. Anyone step outside of that, then them become the enemy. Because what? if them know who step outside of it, is allowed for sure the group. Any kind of action we are going to prove, say them wrong for believe where them believe. A problem that, because the group no one do the work where them socialize for believe, say them shouldn't do. The truth is, most of who support the needle, no deep down say something wrong with it. But as usual, them just want the way them think is the easier thing. Just take it and hopefully it will all go away. Because again, to these people, everything is just an idea. And you have to forgive them because they was not socialized to support the process of nothing at all. And when them attack people who stop and question this needle thing, yeah, you know, let me tell you something. Them attack a come from needing company in a them misery. Because if those who doubt this needle thing yeah, is right, it would have mean no. So them have to do too much work to live the kind of life we have to help them avoid it. It have to disrupt them little fantasy. And them also have suffer from the fear of doing the right thing. And then you know, people have to criticize them in the same brutal and fuck up way how them criticize other people. And the same reason why even when some gunman turn Christian, them dead. Why is that you think? Because them look upon it like why you can't go turn, uh, turn Christian and, and, and do the right thing and end up a prison like when me possibly are going to end up in the future. You mad? Really? Him can't have no sense. And go back, go show these friends a courage with them not have. You mad and them still over there, so a batter for live a lie and a ch where them a try make true. Christian have got dead, make them live them lie in peace. People really do that? Oh, you mean that people really do that? Alright, I wanna go read a VIP comment, you know. Yeah, man, because what? Yeah, it a come from Zeda, the invader. I hope I pronounce that right. Yeah, man. Zeda say, I have no words to describe the value of in the meantime. My problem is, I find it hard to believe that it doesn't have a greater following. Well, Zeda, if, if at this point you still are finding it, if you still are find that hard to believe, then I think you still have a whole lot to learn. Because you have to remember again, Bridging, the objective truth where in the meantime of its foundation inner is not entertaining because it blames no particular person or entity on behalf of anyone else. So them can continue to feel like the victim and therefore see no need for change or fix them own self because everything has somebody else's fault. 
This is how the devil designed it. The human misery never go to style. And them can't see it, it's still trending. I bet most people will find in the meantime, find it by accident. And not recommendation from a friend. But the programs will mimic truth and still I play the blame game in a different way is more popular. But again, in the meantime, it's for who it is for, Bridgerton. It is a buffet. It's not a waiter. The show presents the natural order. It is not a done to order show. If you are like it, support it, share it. You do that. Don't worry about what anybody else. I do. Yeah, man. Stay purple, my brethren. And I do have much time, you know, you know, but I promise we jump back on your comment and expound further. Yeah, man. On the next episode, episode 36. So look out for that. But yeah, man. Watch out now. Jamaica. I want the item stop the pretending and make believe about who we are and accept what we actually are so we can actually change. Yes, man. We actually can grow and change and become who or what we was meant to be. But tell you how long see I soon five bills your bread and see it there. Most of only did us one kin in the fucking teeth. It's funny. Which leader? I go sorry for your people who don't have the courage or discipline for boy cut any kind of decision where they make. But as usual, just bite same way to compete with those who are bite because them no the more than you. Yeah, man, you bite while you're still a fucking complain. All we think we need to do, I can be able to point out the problem. For sure, so we are not fool. But I'm not just knowledge make you sensible, a courage. Just like I want to just hugs and kisses make you show love. And the courage to offend those who we love into doing the right thing because we know there is no other way. Jamaica not powerful because we have great food, culture, musicians, athletes, etc. We become powerful when we learn the disciplines we make we can exploit the benefit of our own talent. Instead of other people realize and exploit the talents and beauty about we. Hey, me no know which part you grow in a bridging, but me grow up believing say a Jamaican was the greatest nationality anyone could have possessed in a Rasta. And now we are nothing but a shadow of a farmer self because of the indiscipline at the root of mostly foreign beliefs where we adapt and we don't really stand out again because we are somebody else now. I remember the Jamaicans who used to rush a man go to hospital even for them chop him up or so give him some sweet sugar and water when him faint. But now we are journalists just to look for a story. We make Instagram a fool way so we are powerful with pretty pictures. When most of the population can't picture nothing pretty, we now have no real power, only symbolic gestures. Make believe ideas of power, because realistically power comes from having the option to be independent. If the need arise, and independence can only come from self-sufficiency, and self-sufficiency can only come from self-reliance. And because we have been socialized away from our God consciousness, into a small and desolate corner of our consciousness. We have no self to rely on. Only a character where we play for entertain and impress. We have no time or interest to invest in our own interests. We have fuck ourselves and don't recognize the incest. That so like a poem. That's so like a poem. That's so like a poem. So like a poem. Oh. In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time. Time.